Hello and good day. I'm here to teach you how to use the GPS Essential app. So first of all, you download the GPS Essential when you go to Play Store. So on your Play Store, you type GPS Essentials. Yeah. So that's how the icon looks like. Then you download it. So you, as you can see, I've downloaded it already. So you download it and after downloading it you turn on you make sure your location that's your phone location is on so after turning it on you go to your dashboard right there is you see this plus sign there yeah you make sure you select these things you select accuracy altitude battery level bearing yeah these are but the most important ones that you must select as the latitude the longitude location provider the number of satellites yeah and let's see what do we have here yeah the gps time yeah you can select that one as well yeah so you do that so after selecting it you have something like this on your dashboard so and before i forget let me teach you something so you go to settings right after going to settings you you then navigate to units and make sure your units are always by default it's always in kilometers so you change it to meters yeah meters yeah then you go back here yeah. so after after doing that yeah you have this so the latitude and the longitude gives you the exact point that i am on the earth surface and always make sure your accuracy is less than five meters so as you can see currently my accuracy is 19 meters which indicates that my latitude and longitude that's my position has an error of so yeah currently we have six meters so it's, it's getting better it's getting better yeah and you should make sure you have a minimum of four satellites yeah so basically you look at the number of satellites at least four satellites can give you an accurate location of where you are on the earth's surface and also make sure your accuracy of your gps device is less than five meters so currently my accuracy is wrong so yeah you do this then basically this is how to take a coordinate using the gps gps essential it's quite an easy way of taking a coordinate yeah so we have other ways yeah so let me let me try and show you yeah all right so the other way is you go to waypoint yeah and on your waypoint you your yeah you see your exact location will be indicated on this map so as you can see currently i'm at the university of energy and natural resources yeah one of the lecture yeah to be precise in an office here yeah, in mr akuto's office i did that though but it doesn't show that but you can see i'm i'm in the campus of university of energy and natural resources right so with this you check your accuracy so if the accuracy is less than five meters you can pick this point as a gps coordinate point of this location then you check the number of satellites currently we have two three satellites and this is so because uh, I am under, I mean, an office picking a coordinate, which interferes with the atmospheric signals coming directly, direct from the satellite. So you, uh, when you are picking a GPS point, make sure you are picking it during the daytime, during uh, periods where the weather is clear, where you don't have any cloudy uh, weather. Yeah. And also make sure you are not under a roof. Because all these things interfere with the signals and it can jam your GPS. 
uh, coordinates. Yeah, so with this, you you just click on this plus sign. Yeah, and after picking it, you see something like this. Yeah, so you give the name. So the name of the point that you want to uh, label. So I want to label it as my office. So I label it as my office. You can give a, a description. So maybe office at Yeah. Then you create your point. You can select icons. So as you can see here, yeah, I have my office here. So that's my point. So yeah, that's it. Basically, this is how to pick a GPS point. But you can see that I had errors in it, so I can't use this GPS point for any uh, analysis or any interpretation or any research, any study, because there, are, there are, uh, there were, there was an error or an, the accuracy level in the GPS device was more than five meters, which is not accepted in GPS. And the number of satellites that helped me to pick this point was uh just one yeah i guess just one satellite or two yeah so you can see the accuracy it was 20 meters which is, makes this coordinate a very wrong coordinate so you, you can't discard this and on the map it gives you the location of so you can see where the error lies yeah so yeah basically this how to use your gps essentials to pick coordinates and yeah we have a whole lot the number of satellites here shows you the the number of visible satellites that you have currently so you can check the all these things before you pick a gps coordinate and yeah basically this is how to pick a gps coordinate or gps point to know your location on the earth surface thank you for your time